Hi. Um, hi, I'm Austin Russo. I am a senior at Lincoln Southeast High School. Hey, and this is to the kid at my lunch table who likes to say the word faggot. Do you enjoy killing me over and over again, ripping out my heart and taking any pride I have and tossing it aside? You know I'm gay, yet you use gay, homosexual, and faggot in your conversation as an insult. There's so much hate behind that word, and yet you don't use other hateful words. The moment one of you said the N-word, everyone freaked out, but a faggot's fine? I don't think you get it, that when you say that word, you don't just say that word. You travel in time. You travel back to March 9th, March 9th, 1971 and stab Robert Hillsborough to death while yelling faggot, then hop over to 1982 and drown Charlie Howard because he was flamboyantly gay. Whenever you say that word, you go back to March 9th, 1997 and kill your best friend with a shotgun because he implied he might still have feelings for you. October 7th, 1998, Matthew Shepard, a gay college student, was beaten, tied to a fence post, and left for dead. He was found 18 hours after the attack and died five days later. The kids at school are right. I am a loser, a freak, and a fag, and in no way is that acceptable for people to deal with. This suicide note was posted online by 17-year-old Carlos Vigil right before he committed suicide. Don't you get it? It's not just a word. It's a legacy. A legacy of... A legacy of people being torn down and forced to wear shame. A legacy of ignorant people who think their actions are justified. If you use fag as an insult, you might as well use me. The next time your friend says something stupid, tell him he's, a, tell him he's an Austin. Or, or are you Austin or, or my personal favorite? You are being so Austin right now. My name is not an insult. My sexuality is not an insult. My love is not an insult. My being is not an insult. Why do you think you can take who I am and control it? Shape it how you would like. Your words are the hands of potters, molding my hands and molding my heart and emotions to your pleasing, but you are so blinded by the attention of others, you have forgotten that the thing you are molding is a human being. I am a human being. We are all human beings. Why don't you see that? Why can't you look at my hands and count the ten fingers just as yours? The hair on my head or the sparkle in my eye. Put your hand on my chest and feel my heartbeat. I'm just like yours. And tell me this. What makes your heart any more beautiful than mine.